Hey guys, how you going? It's Karen here from the Harold Holt Swim Centre. I'm just going to take you through a bit of a workout here today, uh, just designed for active adults, uh, a little bit of a strength class. As per usual, uh, make sure that you seek advice from your GP or allied health professional prior to undertaking any of these exercises and uh, make sure you always do what's right for you. Okay, now first of all, I'm just going to show you our ingredients list, which is just blown onto the ground. Um, here we go. This is what you'll need for today's workout. Uh, so what we need is a mat or a couple of uh, thick towels. Okay, there's the, uh, the mat that I'm going to use. Behind it, you can see a few bottles there lined up. Now they're all been emptied and filled with water uh, so that we can have some little light weights to carry as well. So we've got the two litre milk carton. We've got a uh, 500 ml pancake mix there and a couple of 1.25 ml of water. Okay, also need um, a step. So I'm just gonna use that little garden step over there. Uh, we're gonna use either a fence, which I'm gonna use that one, or you can use a, um, a wall inside if you prefer, or even your dining room table if you'd like to do some push-ups against um, an incline. We also, you can have a, a little bit of a sprinkle of music if you like, your choice, and um, and yourself. Alrighty, so let's get started. A up, start with a bit of a march here. That's it. Those arms moving and lift those knees up nice and high. That's it, here we go. And just tap forward, heel taps. That's it. And we'll do four more. And to the side. Here we go. Ready and out. And four, three, two. Let's tap behind. Here we go. And back. That's it. And four. Three, two, step to the side. Here we go. Arms forward. Four, three, two, and two steps to the right. And back. Two more. Last one, and back to the step. Here we go, heel tap. And four, three, two, to the side. That's it. And four, three, two, tap behind. Here we go. And four, three, two, single step. right and again here we go hold it here and a march now we're do an easy walk step wide and then step together behind and let's go wide and together wide and together and we got the dog joining in behind us as well here Four more. Three. Two. And walk it forward. Here we go. One, two, three. Clap. One, two, three. Clap. Two, three. Looking good. Walk. Step wide, step together. That's it. Okay, two more. And walk it forward. One more. And 
hold it here. Here we go. All right, well done. Okay, here's the second part of our warm up. Here we go. Right leg up and down. I'm going to try 10 steps on each leg. Turn to the side and do some side step ups. One, tap and down and tap. Two, see it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Turn and face the other direction. And one, and two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Back to the front, last one, knees up. One, change legs here, and two, and three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten, and done. Now we're going to do a superset of two exercises, the push-up and some dumbbell bent over rows. Now you can do your push-up in two different ways, um, you can do them against the uh, wall or the fence, or you can do them down on your knees or on an incline against perhaps a, a dining room table. Okay, but for the dumbbells, I've got some, um, some nice big full water bottles here. Um, okay, so we're gonna do 45 seconds of each exercise, alternating and two lots of each. All right, let's get started. Okay, so if you wanna do it on the wall or the fence, up on your toes, nice straight body. Down and up. Push away from the fence. If you want to make it harder, you can do, use your step that you used earlier, down and pressing up. And there's 45 seconds. Pick up your weights and we're going straight into bent over row. So we've got knees are slightly bent, hinging at the uh, at the knee at the hips and pulling those dumbbells, water bottles up nice and close to you. Keep your elbows in close to your side and keep looking just a little bit ahead of you at the floor so your spine is nice and straight. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Keep your core braced. Forty-five seconds here as well. After that, we're straight back into the push-ups. All right, what time are we up to? And there we go. There's our forty-five seconds. Pop your dumbbells back down. And straight back into your push-ups, up on your fence or your wall, or against on your incline, or on the floor. Knees or toes, you choose. Keep your body nice and straight, so no bums in the air. And keep your belly braced nice and tight. Oh, 
Okay, there's your 45 seconds. Last one, pick up your weights again. And I'll just bring my stopwatch around here and bending over slightly, hinging at the hips. Core brace tight and elbows in. Pulling those bottles up, your little dumbbells to your lower part of your abdominals. Do your belly button. Squeeze your shoulder blades. There we go, nice flat back. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Beautiful. Okay, now let's do some tricep push-ups with our hands shoulder width apart. Can be done on the floor, on your knees, on your toes, or against an incline such as your fence or a wall. Okay, 45 seconds, let's go. Keep those elbows in and keep your body nice and straight. Using your fingers to push away from the fence. Staying up on your toes, nice straight body. Let's keep it going. Another 15 seconds here. Keep your core braced nice and tight. Three, two, one. Okay. Now moving over back to our step, we're going to do some calf raises. Okay. I'm going to carry my two litre bottle of water here and just lightly hold on to the pole beside me. Dropping the heels down below the step and up nice and high. These can also be done on the floor. You don't have to do them on a step. Another 45 seconds here. Come up nice and high on your toes. back into the wall, the push-ups again, hands nice and close, down and push up. That's it, keep it going. Seconds and done. Okay, so this time I'm going to do half and half. I'm going to do it on one leg. Okay, my calf raises instead of doing it on two. Makes it a little bit harder. Half the time on one leg and then half the time on the other. Alright, and change legs. Coming up as high as you can on your toe. Hold at the top, slowly come down. Three, two, one, and done. Beautiful. Here we go, time to chill out now with a bit of a wall sit. So we're gonna sink down into a nice 90 degree angle here with your knees. Okay, keeping your shoulders back against the fence and we're holding for 45 seconds here, keeping your core brace nice and tight. Time to just chill out. Here we go, watch the world go by. Or crows, birds. 
Here we go, another 25 seconds here. That's it. Making sure we're keeping our brace nice and tight here. Lower back's got to be nice and flat up against the fence or your wall. That's it, another five seconds. Looking good. Three, two, one. Okay, standing up. Nice wide sumo stance now for some sumo squats. Squatting down and then pushing up. Here we go, another 45 seconds here. That's it. So arms go up as you squat down and push up. One leg comes off the ground. Keep that back nice and flat. I don't want to see any rounded backs here. If I go sideways, you can see my back nice and flat here. Alrighty, and rest. Shake the legs out. Short rest and then we'll go back and do it again. Here we go, sinking, sinking down again. Core nice and tight, shoulders back. And let's go. You can either count to 45 seconds, you can use a stopwatch, your phone, whatever you like. That's it. Keep those shoulders back against the fence. Hope you're staying healthy during this time. Eating well, keep exercising. See, we'll come out the other side of all this fitter and healthier. Five more seconds here. That's it, three, two, one. Good work. Standing up, one more lot of the sumo squats. Okay, shake those legs out. Ready, nice wide feet, and squat down, and push one leg up to the side. That's it, up, and down. That's the way, looking good, keep it going. Keep the weight on the heels while you're squatting. Five more seconds. And rest. Lovely, shake it all out. And we'll get ready for the next one. Okay, so we're lying on our mat now. 45 seconds of some glute bridges. Okay, so hands by your side. Pushing through the heels, lifting the hips up, squeeze your glutes and keep your core brace nice and tight. Lifting up, squeeze, hold at the top for a couple of seconds and then slowly come down. Peel up, squeeze those glutes and down. So I keep going. 10 more seconds. Okay, we've got one round of each of these. Last one. And resting down. Okay, moving on to some crunches. Okay, hands behind the head, elbows out wide, reaching up and slowly down. Up and down. Keep the elbows out, keep looking up at the sky or the ceiling, not pulling your head forward, keep working through your abdominals. Breathe out on the way up and breathe in on the way down. Ten more seconds here. Rolling over. Doing a plank now. You can do the plank on your knees or you can do it on your toes. 
Make sure we're putting the palms straight down to the floor or the, the ground. And don't clasp your hands together. Pop them down, fingers down. If you're going to do it on your knees, take your feet up and then lift up your middle. Okay, don't forget to start your watch. Here we go, ready? 45 seconds. And go. Suck your belly in and squeeze your glutes here. Making sure that your elbows are directly underneath your shoulders. If you want to make it harder, onto your toes. Keeping your back all nice and flat. 15 more seconds here. Okay, last one we're going to do is an opposite arm and leg raise. Okay, reaching your arms forward, stretching your legs back, keeping your head down, reaching, lengthening your spine, reaching forward with the arms, stretching back with the leg. Up and down, nice and slowly. Choose the shoulders or you prefer to have your hands by your side, that's another option you can do. Up and down. Three, two, one, and done. Okay, we'll finish off with a stretch now. So just coming back into the child's pose stretch, reaching back, hold for about 20 seconds. And breathe. Always keep breathing while you're stretching. Don't hold your breath. Okay, then pushing one heel back behind. And stretch through the calf. And changing legs. And standing up. Do a hamstring stretch now. So two hands on the bent leg, toe up at the front, and if you should feel this in the hamstrings in the uh, back of your right thigh. Sorry, that was a mosquito. And changing legs, two hands on the other bent leg, toe up, leaning forward. All right, and we're just gonna stretch the quads. You can either do this balancing or you can hold onto a wall or your fence. Keep your knees together, press that hip forward. Be feeling this in your quad here, front of your thigh. All right, and change legs. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Hope you uh, had a good workout. We've got one more stretch to do. Okay, and that'll be the triceps. One arm over the top, and pop gently pulling that elbow down. And shake it out, changing arms. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Again, thanks for joining me, Karen here, and um, have an awesome day and hope to see you again soon. Cheers, bye.